Hello. All right, for those of you who might check this out after the fact, welcome. Uh, I just started here, so I don't think anybody's going to be joining in yet. All right. Okay. So, I've got two characters on ladder, right? We've got Kenny, Dragon Claw Assassin, off metaphysical claws build. And we've got Hawk, the Bow Barbarian. He looks pretty sweet right now. Actually, nice, uh, nice color scheme we got with the uh, rip hook, breastplate armor. It, the breastplate retains like armor on the upper half, but on the lower half, and so his clothing is red, kind of matches the bow. I like the um, I like the helmet here too. Looks sweet. So we need a wisp projector still. We need a beast base, and I found one, but it's superior, so the repair costs could be kind of bad. And then we also need a pride base, and I have I have a thresher four sockets, but not ethereal. So let's take a look at the bow barb first. <clears throat> All right, a few people checking out. What's up, dudes? Um, thanks for checking out the stream. Um, so I got the getting back into the ladder here. We we are level 36 with the bow barbarian. And he's looking cool. And we have some upgrades in the stash awaiting. Um <clears throat> the mercenary kind of needs an upgrade still too. Uh, but anyway, let's see here. Oh yeah, he did have Twitch throw. Um, so Mercenary actually has an Ethereal Ice Blink with a Worm Skull and an Ethereal Lance of the Guy. Which is kind of sweet. Uh, we could give him Rattle Cage. We could put the Twitch throw back on. VPR says, yo. Yo, man, what's up? Um, I'm just kind of talking until someone like you who says something, you know? Uh, be, <laughs> so, thanks for starting the conversation. And, um, Nick, always working when you're streaming now. Damn it. <laughs> it's all good, dude. Um, the VODs are always there, too, if you just feel like tuning in, like, a podcast of at the, uh, eventually, right? <clears throat> so, we, so we've got, right now, we have a pretty cool setup with the bow bar. Rip hook, which has slow target by 30%, which stacks right on to the 25% slow target on the Clegg Laws. Um, faster cast, attack rating ring, faster cast, attack rating ring, razor tail, goblin toe. We got a piece so we can proc a Valkyrie, which is sweet. And then uh, one to all skills with lifesteal, the Eye of Etlich. We do have a Dread Visor, which uh, Joachim gave me. It's got Visionary Mod, attack rating, Grim Ward. Two to battle orders, life, poison res, and repairs durability with light radius. That's kind of ridiculous for what we're doing, actually. If you think about it, at level 27, leveling this bow barbarian, this was pretty much one of the best things we could have. So, kind of sweet. On swap, we just have an Icker Sting, just in case we run out of arrows or something, but we kind of rarely do now. Nick says, okay, yeah, yeah, I watch and listen afterwards. I miss... I miss the love while playing myself usually anyway. Yeah. Yeah, man. So that's kind of what I've come to realize too is like some people are just... Uh, actually, probably a lot of people are just... Um, they're playing the game themselves while they're listening to the live stream or whatever. Or they're listening to the VOD afterwards. Gotenheim says Rip Hook. Oh, yeah. We got the Rip Hook. I put a shale in it. Uh, we're only level 36, so Rip Hook and Clegg Loss, so we have 55% slow target, which is sweet. And we have a decent amount of lifesteal, too. We have 20% on the build, 10% there. It's a good roll on this, 10%. Uh, we've got 3% on the ring, 7% on the amulet. Very slow. Yeah, dude, bosses have been, like, cakewalk because of the slowing effect. It's kind of amazing. Um... So I did find this, guys. 
superior at nax 11 percent enhanced damage with increased maximum durability 10 percent so that could be the beast but the thing is superior base for a beast if i ever want to use it for actually at fighting things and not just transforming into a bear once in a while to get the mark of the bear it's like the repair cost dude is going to be astronomical yeah gotenheim says expensive repair and nick says visionary mod in the two open socket rolling on certain hel helms is so big for these off meta builds i try to gamble for them all on all my solo self found tunes. Yeah, dude, I actually have I actually I haven't shown it on the channel, but I actually have a crap load of visionary mod circlets and coronas and, or coronets and stuff. I just have never showed them on the channel really, but I have a ton of them ever ever since the gambling uh holiday event, you know. <laughs> so I have some really sweet ones that I could use, but there's just so little time sometimes to get but anyway, okay. So I could use this it's kind of cool that I found it, but I don't know. I also found this, dudes. Check this out. Three to javelin and spear skills, 3% life stolen gloves. Um, I know it's not the 320s that everyone wants, but I think it's got trade value because I did sell the 320s for a jaw, and I did sell just a regular three to javelin and spear skills with nothing else for, like, an um rune. So... Zaug, what's up, man? Want a he says uh want a two want a plane, two max damage, seventeen attack rating, small time for free. Uh yeah, yeah I do. Like look at this one defense five to life charm. <laughs> Maybe I could replace that, you know. Here, so I also found another monarch and I rolled a spirit and it rolled really bad. Um, what else did I find? I, I played a little bit today. Just a little bit by myself. Um, I rolled these blood gloves. They're dual leech with dexterity, life, 7% crushing blow. Not horrible. Not the greatest either. There's no res on them. But, um, and then, yeah, so that's kind of it. I guess, I guess, Zaug, should I just make a game? Here, let me make a game. Night, uh, I'm gonna do Nightmare if that's alright, just so I can kind of stay in it. So. We'll call it Bo Barb. Um, password 1 Nightmare. So, I'm just going to get rid of this charm. This 5 to life charm. There she is, Asuna. Your sorceress that I've seen so often now. Ooh, it's even the same kind. Thank you. Th thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. So, yeah, dude. That's cool. Alright. We just got... We just became more powerful. Thanks, Zog. That's gonna that's gonna get us some some kills. This monastery reeks with evil and All right, we're gonna move. We're just gonna keep. We're just gonna go. Uh, what do I have on swap? Okay, let's do battle orders. We have that. Let me remember how to play this character. Hold on. Okay, I got it. I got it. I need my mercenary's blessed aim. It hasn't kicked in yet. A unique full helm. Oh, I forgot to drop that off in the stand. This is, um... This is Dusk Deep. Is that an up... Oh. Dusk Deep. It's not bad at that level. You know? Level 17, 8 max damage, 15 all res. 
Let's just look at it for a sec, because why not? It would look cool, but I think this is much better, because <laughs> we need the attack rating. Dusk Deep is elite for low level. And VPR says bow barb, as in handsome barb. B A B E A U barb. Yeah, man. It's kind of good. I found an ethereal one of these once. And, you know, it's not hard to find, like, low-level max damage charms, so you could you could socket this thing and put more max damage in it. But I we got lifesteal. Lifesteal on the mercenary, so we'll just go with that. He still hasn't... There we go. We got Blessed Aim. Man. That was... Really needed that, you know? Alright, Grim Ward. So we have the Grim Ward. And it does 70% extra damage, dude. It's like, enemies take 70% extra damage. That's kind of good. And then they... They, they get slowed and they just kind of walk away. It's kind of nice. <clears throat> of course, we got Leap as our other skill. This build's really going to fly once we get Enigma from our assassin. When we steal Enigma off our assassin. You know, because then I'll be able to reposition the mercenary. I'll be able to, like, jump in. Like, set a Grim Ward and then, like, teleport out and just start shooting everything. It'll give us a huge, massive uh, strength boost as well. There she is. The Valkyrie. Okay, I was wondering how long it would take to get her to spawn. You were in that piece for Valk? Yeah, dude. There she is. So. Yeah, it's good. I If I got, like, if I got, like, the one with life, what I was doing was I was, um... Oh, a Viper Magi, bros. Viper Magi. Here, let's go, uh... Let's go ID it. And put it in the stash. Oh, I don't have Kane yet in Nightmare, huh? 30? All right. Should I just wear it myself? <laughs> just wear it myself, maybe. It's decent... Decent res. Or I could make the Mercenary survive a bit better with it. Wear that or Twitch for attack speed. I wonder what my breakpoint is. Honestly, I should check it. Let's see. Um, so I have a really fast weapon right now. So let me just see. If I check Barbarian and he's attacking with a standard attack and he has a Razor Bow, which is minus 10. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow. We got lots to... Yeah, so... The max frames for a Razor Bow is 109 IAS. And the one before that is 60. So, <laughs> geez. So we're at 50 on here. And that's that's it. Yeah. Okay, so... We could do that then. Dude, I, I have too much crap. I have too much crap. How does this happen? Uh, oh, I found a flail for a uh, heart of the oak too. If I want to make that, but I don't have a vex rune anymore. All right, what is this hustle? Uh, I like, I like this armor, even though it's not that great. Okay, just I'll just part with it. We'll put that in there. Um, and what else can I part with? Let's see, Merc has got... Merc's got a, um, Freeze's target Ethereal Ice Blink, which is kind of cool. Does he really need it, though? It's like... Not really. I could give the Merc Crushing Blow, as well, with Rattle Cage. Or... Let's see, what else? I do have a couple bases for stuff, too. I don't... I don't know... I don't think I need to make any more three-socketed things, actually. 
So like I don't need this linked mail. Although I was just curious about Huh. The linked or whoops, what did I just do? That's the wrong one. Where's the linked mail? Oh yeah. The linked mail looks like this on Barb. Which is kinda cool too. It's not bad, you know? For this character too, for the bow. It's actually kinda sweet. So if I wanted to make something in that, you know, but or if I just wanted to make another piece just so that I can differentiate it because the because um all my armors have like are like breastplates right now. So it might be nice to like just make another one of these. Shale full am can do I have that? Let me just see. I don't know if I have the runes actually anymore. <laughs> Let me see. Shale uh shoot. Yes, I don't even have the runes for it anymore. Oh, well. I'm being a little nitpicky now about it. So, uh, so I don't need that, I don't think. Um, this is a three-socket Dusk Shroud, which might have trade value. And then this is a three-socket Wire Fleece. Yeah, wear Twitch to go up to the last frame. Or the next frame, yeah. I think I should. And... I don't think I really need this wire fleece. I, th I think the Dusk Shroud will have more trade value. You know? Unless... And then let me just think. What else? I've got these. I don't really need this crown. Um, and then... Sorry, I'm trying to like clean out some stuff here. This is actually nice for a hustle. For, a, for an Act 1 Rogue. Not a bad base. Two to bow and three sockets. So I was kind of keeping that in case. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to trade this six socket face blade either. I don't think anyone's going to want it. Um, I think I did post it on Tradery, but let me just let me just see if anyone. Yeah, see nobody nobody um, nobody wanted any of this stuff. So I'm just going to remove that. Don't need that. I was also thinking that. I did find a th I did find a berserker axe and it only rolled three sockets and I was thinking of trading it but then I was like actually it might make a nice hustle just because I don't have a hustle berserker axe you know does anyone know if I can if you can stack the fire damage from dragon aura on top of enchant for a sork says David yes you can your mastery will increase the fire damage of the aura as well Um, so there's that. I can't carry anymore. Let's see. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. Let's go. So we got, if I wear Twitch throw, I should be able to shoot faster now. So, let's see. Let's see how much faster we are. Is it noticeable? Kinda. I'm gonna have to steal my Raven Frost off my uh, assassin eventually. David says that sounds like my next build. Then, oh yeah, dude. Any, any type of um, like like skill damage works with auras and charms and skills and everything. Like even if a even if like a weapon has like lightning damage on it or something, you could you could actually enhance that with lightning mastery or like facets. Or something like that. And then, of course, you can inadvertently enhance it with lower resistance or conviction. So, yeah, dude. Uh, Dragon Sorceress is totally viable. It's incredibly strong, actually.
One of the most memorable sound effects in the game for me is the death of the rogue, the demon rogues. <laughs> well, actually, I want to open that. Here we go. Nice. Yeah, like, look at this guy. He can't even move. <laughs> and we're kind of... Our attack rating isn't even that great against them right now. It's only 82% chance, but... Kind of doesn't matter. But yeah, and so we do have the other character as well. We've got, we've got our, our assassin who could farm some keys or something if I want to do that for a bit um, and she did find it, that was the last time I played her too I don't know if you guys remember or if you were there for that part of the stream but it was like I was playing on her just to see what we could find and then we found the rip hook and I was like oh wow that's perfect <laughs> and I had already started the bow barb too That battle, that battle, um, what's it called? Battle Cry, yeah. Battle Cry is actually pretty good. Wow, we shoot so fast now. Sweet. I can jump right through here, can I? Yeah, I can. Oh, there we go. It doesn't make any sense that you can jump through gates and, and like, towers and stuff with Leap, but, dude, I'll take it, you know? And I can't put up the ward on these undead archers. It won't let me. I don't know. There's just certain, like, undead enemies. It just won't let me do that on. Oh, it's not letting me jump. There we go. Okay. I was trying to jump over them and get in the room. Nick, I know it won't be nearly as powerful. Uh, whoops. Hang on. But I like this build a lot. Uh, I know you got Enigma, but I'd consider something else just to pump up the damage, since you can already sleep. Yeah, I could. I could go Fortitude. I have two low runes. You know, I could make make a Fortitude, but I might need the. I might. I might need one low rune for the Pride. You know, but then I might need the other one to trade for something if I need something else. So the thing is, is like, it's kind of a, it's, the fortitude would make it a lot stronger, you know, obviously. But, but it would be, um, it would be nice to be able to have the enigma just so I can like reposition the, the mercenary and stuff. 
Um, but also, you get all the extra strength, you know, with it. So, you can kind of... Even though, like, the Fortitude would be more damage, it yeah, I feel like it's not going to make that much of a difference once we are... Once we're, like, fully geared with enough Crushing Blow, Deadly Strike, um, Max Damage Charms, and then, like, Pride and Might at the same time. And then... And then, like, the, um... The Grim Ward, like, fully synergized, is going to add, like, amp damage levels of damage to, to the monsters. So, and it it doesn't work on the champions or the leader of an elite pack, but I I don't I don't think it'll matter that much. So we'll see. I I could always just make it later, too, and just so I can try it, because I don't have a fortitude on this ladder. It keeps this guy unique if I don't use Enigma. Is that what you're saying? It's kind of... Yeah. It, I mean... We'll see how it goes, man. Like, I just want to... I'm going to definitely put it on first because I have it, you know? And the extra... The extra strength that I can save from Enigma means more attack rating. As well. And because I can put it into Dexterity. So, more attack rating, which means I hit more. Which is just straight up damage, you know? So... Because if I'm not hitting enough, then, then that's that doesn't matter if I'm wearing fortitude. Then you know. I just really enjoy seeing him, seeing Grim and Leap being utilized. I know that's what I was, that's what I keep uh, talking about too. I'm like, it's really fun to have a high level Leap so I can knock back everybody and then set up the ward to to uh, disrupt everything, and uh, and then leap around the battlefield like shooting arrows and stuff it's kind of cool <laughs> like you can't even do like a like a you know like in other games like arpgs there are rangers and like ninjas and type classes and i've seen that you can like backflip with them and stuff like that you know like i think even in poe2 there's a vault for like the ranger class he has like a backwards vault so he can like back up and then keep shooting like that um and it's just funny that it's just funny to me right now that the Barbarian can do that in this game. <laughs> it's locked. It's locked. It's locked, yo. <laughs> Grimward. What do you mean? Impo oh, I ran out of arrows. I was like, what's impossible? I get, I ran out of arrows. So I have the Icker Sting on swap here so I can shoot with this a little bit. If I don't feel like going back to town. A little bit slower, though. There we go. See, we've got them all, all messed up now. Shooting with this crossbow's a little slower. I am it's <laughs> I mean, it is kind of cool that this is working, you know, and I think it's I think it's going to translate. I think it's going to translate, too. So, and this is the first time I've done, like, Bow Barbarian like this. And, like, I've never leveled with a Bow Barbarian. And I've never showed a, shown a Bow Barbarian on the channel before. But, yeah. Pretty, I, I'd say the ladder, the ladder's been cool, though. Because we have two off-meta builds on the ladder right now. And they're both going to be pretty good, you know? I actually think with this guy, too, <laughs> we'll be able to farm some stuff once we're, like, leveled up into the high 80s, you know? Like, I, like I could probably try to get keys with him and stuff, too. Obviously, I guess anybody can if you have Enigma. But I was even thinking just, like, an arcane of just kind of, like, leaping through the, the level. <laughs> Okay.
Okay, uh, wrong way. Was it Double Billy who made that cool looking purple bow barb? Yeah, that was Double Billy. He did um a really cool one that was using Kuko Shikaku for the fire explo the explosive arrows, and he got a bunch of fire charms in his inventory. Which um and he he showed that one like a like a hero edited one. And then he actually made it like on ladder though, I'm pretty sure. And so and he uh he has like all fight. He, he and then he made like a a brand bow for the fight, the explosive, the one that has the bone spears, you know, and it has explosive arrows. So he and then I think he even I think he even did like a dragon armor for the fire aura, and then he got like demon limb, you know, for some more fire or some fire damage, slight fire damage increase and in the enchant uh, attack rating. What else did he do? But yeah, basically he did that, and it was. I was like, that's cool, it's all fire, you know? Um, Tony says, yes, the fire barb. Yeah, and so, I wasn't trying to copy him, actually. I, it's just that with my assassin this ladder, I started finding all this bow, all these bows. And I was like, dude, I could totally level a bow barbarian now. I have all the bows I need. Um... So we even have um, somebody. Then once we once we got going too, somebody donated. Um, uh, oh, what was it? A hustle um, great bow. It was. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm for, um, who was it? Was it Zhao? No. Uh, oh, shoot. Let me think. Oh, was it Atlantis or? Sorry if you're. Was it ploppers? Maybe it was ploppers. Did you donate the the um the hustle? Yeah, it was ploppers. It was ploppers because I made that pun when you were like, "I appreciate the hustle" or something like that. And I was, or you said you don't want to obstruct the hustle. Yeah, that's what it was. You said you didn't want to obstruct the hustle when we were talking about hustling in the game. And I was like, "You didn't, dude. You gave me two hustles. Remember?" So yeah, so we've got we've got a bunch of bows ready to go. Basically, is what the po the point is I'm trying to make. So then I decided to start a barbarian from level one with the bows and uh, on ladder, which is cool because you usually can't do that. Really, you know, you wouldn't be able to do a solo self found bow. But I mean, you could. Like, don't get me wrong, you could. It's just that it's going to be rough, you know, if you don't find anything. Yeah, twas me, says Plappers. Okay. Zalg, I feel you're going to make an exploding arrow build. You may as well make a holy fire paladin or a chance sort to make that build. Yeah, I mean obviously it's gonna like wreck. Those are good. But um but that's what's that's why Billy's making the the barbarian version of it though, because nobody's done that. And I I thought about doing that with um I thought about doing that with uh I'll just like with a necromancer actually. That's because a lot of people had asked me, had you done, if I'd done the bow, uh, the brand bow necromancer, you know? And I was like, no, I haven't made one on the channel or anything. I, like, obviously, like, I know about it. And people were saying, like, yeah, you could, you can go bear form with brand and then synergize the bone spears and get a bone rune word. I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, that's an awesome, I think that's a great off meta build. It looks really cool. It's actually pretty good, too. Um, but, um... I wanted to do something different with it, and so I haven't shown it on the channel, but what I want to try is is doing kind of what Billy's doing with the Barbarian, but with the Necromancer. And so, now that Billy's already done that, though, I guess I can just tell you that's what I was going to do. <laughs> um, but, and it's, it, it doesn't matter. Like, I don't, like, it's not like a competition where it's like, oh no, like, nobody's allowed to make that build now because, you know, Billy made it already. Like, yeah, it's not a big deal, you know? But that was really cool, though. I think his fire, his fire bow barb is sick, dude. I think it's awesome. Nick says, "I'm trying all characters with bow solo self found. I finished with druid and pally so far. Assassin is next. Hardcore, dude. Nick, that's nuts, man. <laughs> that's pretty nuts. All right." I'm going to keep going on 
the Grim Ward, I think. The synergy for it. 75% more damage they take. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, dude, that's crazy now. These guys are just standing in the corner. Look at that. They can't move. Awesome. I found that Viper Magi earlier, you know, and I have no magic find at all. We have none. No magic find on the build. Rampith says... Hey man, I saw an old Sorceress Vengeance build over at Pure Diablo. They used Two-Handed Axe Kingslayer. Maybe do something like that? Hmm. Yeah, because Sorceress has good attack frames with axe, two-handed axes, too. Like the Druid, you know? Yeah, I guess you could go... Because you can get all the masteries for it. And then you could do... Like what? Energy Shield? If you want to go that route. Or you could just like... Hybridize it further. Do like all the masteries and then... I don't know. Like Blizzard. and Or something. Or even Chain Lightning and just like cast and then start hacking away. You know? My mercenary is stuck behind the wall. There you are, buddy. Ah, shit, wrong way. I'm wondering how... So, with Vengeance, too, it's weird, right? Let me, let me think about that, because... Actually, would the Masteries help it? Because isn't Vengeance, doesn't it work based off of... Doesn't it convert physical damage to elemental damage? So would that even work, what I just said? I can't. Wow, Barb with a bow. <laughs> it's locked. Yeah, bro. He's, um... And check it out. We've got Grim Ward. Oh, whoops. I don't want to die. There we go. So now everything's running away. Oh, shoot. Sorry. I was, um, trying to show you what I was doing, and then those guys were champions <laughs> and killed me. <sighs> Yo, what's up, Kyle? He says, it's been so nice to see you live and posting more vids. Love your content, my friend. Thanks, dude. I, uh... I've been trying to... I, I was trying to, like, just get back into it, like, pretty regularly while I have some time off from work from recovering from my, um, surgery that I had. Um, but that's what happened, though. I kind of, like... I kind of, like, lost a lot of steam from that. Oh, yeah, I also did get... I also did, uh, run into D-Clone guys, and I killed them with my assassin very easily. That was, um, like, earlier... I didn't identify it, though. I was going to wait. We'll wait to ID it. Um, but yeah. VPR says, we're happy to see more live streams, man. Thanks, dude. I'm, yeah, I've been enjoying the live streams a lot, actually. Uh, David says, I love Vengeance as a skill. Ever since I was 11 playing this game back in the day, I loved the idea of doing every kind of elemental damage. My young mind couldn't think of another way around immunes. Yeah. No, I know. And it... I, you, you're right. Like, it always seemed as if, hey, this is kind of a good answer for that. Like, this skill. But then the game doesn't tell you how it works. Right? Like, you didn't know... Like, you couldn't just play the game and figure out how to maximize it. So it's kind of a weird... It's kind of a weird thing. That you have to... But that's also one thing I like about this game, honestly. It it kind of feels like like you're, you know, 
playing D and D or something in a way, because you gotta like look up stuff. You know, like you're like you're sitting there, like you got like you got like multiple windows open for like different game mechanics and breakpoints and rune words, and you're like looking up stuff all the time. You know, it's kind of fun to do that. It's kind of fun that you have to have like all this secondary stuff happening while you're playing. Um, although, like, it would be nice if the game itself just had, like, a tome that you could collect, you know? Like, maybe if you're, like, once you made the rune word, it was, like, in the tome. Kind of like the Holy Grail idea. That would be so great, wouldn't it, dude? If you had an, an in-game merchant who collected the Holy Grail for you. Like, why not? There's so many ways they could improve this game. It's kind of mind-blowing, actually. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to keep the piece on for a bit so I can get the Valkyrie back. Uh, make a P gem here. Oh, wait. Do I not have another one? I don't. Damn it. Um, I guess I'll talk to Charcy since we're here. Nick says, yeah, man, I follow plenty of D2 streamers, but you're the only one I try to watch live. You just got good content with these off-metas. Well, thanks, Nick. Kyle says, I never actually used the Vengeance skill. Uh, it's funny you say that, Kyle, because ne neither have I. <laughs> I've never used it either. And if I did, I don't remember. Because it pro I probably did try it, and then I, and then I couldn't figure out how, why it was so bad or something. Um, and then... I'm sorry that I don't know how to say your name because I can't read I can't read the characters from the language that you put your name in. But do you stream on Twitch? I think that is another nice platform. I don't I don't have it. You know, I like I I could. It's not like I don't. Um, razor switch. Hey, we got the razor hook or the rip hook, which is a razor bow, and we just found razor switch. This thing is interesting too. 80 life, 175 mana, 50 all res, all res, magic damage reduced by 15, but then it only has one to all skills. So, I mean, you're really trading survivability for your spirit sword setup, right? Not bad, though. It's really not bad. Maybe I just put that on swap. I don't really need that Icar Sting anymore. It's kind of not very good. Yeah, but if I just put this on swap and then <laughs> just for the heck of it. And that way I can, um, I can use my battle orders on swap for an extra skill. 175, yeah, dude. If this thing, if, if you could, like, upgrade uniques, you know, with the runes, and it actually got, like, a, another skill or something, or a couple skills, that'd be cool. Um, alright, let's go. So I dropped the Icar Sting on the ground. I don't think I... I'm gonna use that thing anymore. And it's not like it's a hot commodity or anything. You can get that back anytime. And I'm not gonna start another bow character with that. Okay, so attack rating is, it says we're only hit 85% chance to hit. So that's the only thing is that we're just going to have to get to that point where we can equip Demon Limb, you know, and, and then eventually, hopefully enough dexterity will help and then hopefully enough, you know, charms or whatever. We'll see. If not, it's just going to be like, Levels are going to be the most important thing for all that. Here we go. I can make another perfect ruby now. Ooh, 
Here we go. Level two. Wow. It kind of took a while to get there, huh? There's that, that Valkyrie. Got her back. All right. She rolled with blue armor, too, so she looks dope. Oof, oof. Here we go. Grim Ward right in the doorway. Perfect choke point. <laughs> If I want the radius to increase on the leap too, let's see. Um, so range is 16 yards, the knockback radius 11.3, and with one more skill, a 12 yard knockback radius. <laughs> I also just remembered that it, I, I always, one thing that I would really love is if the barbarian when he had, you know how like the barb, you can do the wolf barb, the wolf barbarian. It would be amazing if you could use leap and leap attack with wolf barbarian. Not like whirlwind, although that would kind of be cool if you could be a whirlwinding werewolf. Like seriously, you know, like why the hell not? But um, that would be amazing. That would make wolf wolf howl would become such an interesting uh weapon uh unique helm then if you could actually leap attack in werewolf form that would be so so sweet dear d2r dev that's a tough change probably but dude get on it man <laughs> oh valk color matters and now look she switched again we lost the blue one my bad it's okay We'll just keep resummoning her. I am overburdened. And oh, I'm sorry. I missed the first part when someone asked, "Does it matter?" Yeah, the Vo the Valkyrie color does matter. It's it coincides with the the mods that roll on an armor. Because the Valkyrie actually rolls magic and rare armors and stuff. You just can't you can't see what it is. You can you can surmise what it is based on the color of her weapon and her armor though. So like if it's blue, um, if it's a dark blue, it's gonna be Nova when struck or possibly mana, which is kind of useless for her. Um, if it's white, it'll be defense based on character level. If it is red, like the dark, like the nice deep ruby red, you know, then that means it's life, like, you know, like those mods that are of the wolf and of the whale. Um, if it is orange, it means of swords, which means attacker takes damage of. If it's rusty, kind of like reddish, like a wine color, then it's defiance, meaning, meaning uh, poison length reduced by 75%. Um, if it's kind of a lighter color, blue not the dark blue then it's most likely frost shield so so uh frost shield uh frost nova when struck and then if it's if it's really a brilliant kind of golden color it's going to be faster hit recovery um and did i i don't know did i miss anything i feel like i got them all There we go. I got Grim Hordes everywhere in here. <laughs> but you can also tell what kind of weapon mod she might have, too. Based on the color of the weapon. So you generally want to look for, like, a one that's dark. Um... 
like a black, kind of like a black tip to the weapon. You can see it better sometimes in the original graphics, actually. It's more noticeable. Um, you know, or you could, like, or if it's, like, white, then it could mean it's, like, the Fool's mod or something like that. You know, where it's, like, a ta max damage attack rating. Oh, wow, so interesting. I didn't realize it went that deep. Yeah, no, yeah, she, she actually roll at the higher level she gets, she actually rolls, like, um, like, full full pretty much a full gear setup i would think it is you know and it's not just her it's the sh the shadow master as well the shadow master can roll like gear with like um you know like you can like a shadow master for example sometimes you'll summon her and you'll be f playing and fighting and all of a sudden you'll see hydras pop out and you're like what the heck is that and it's it's because the shadow master can r can spawn with an amulet that's rare that happens to roll level three hydro when struck you know so so you the the shadow master can actually get all kinds of gear as well she rolls like claws like that are magic and rare and how a helmet ar armor like a like an amulet like everything nick says the valkyrie at level 17 gives her an elite spear and somewhere in the mid 20s will give her all rare elite gear yeah so 15 it's just an exceptional spear right which is what we got on the piece. Kyle says, what? That's wild. I've been playing this game for almost 20 years and had no idea. Yeah, so that's why you might see people, like when they're in Amazon, if they're casting the Valkyrie over and over, and then they get a red one, they let, then they stop casting it. They're looking for the one that has extra life. You have a rare pike on level 15. At 17, it's a rare war pike. So her damage goes up a lot then. Wow. Yeah. I am yeah. I mean, we're using her mostly for the... Just for the uh, aggro anyway, right now. She's not really... Although, dude, she kind of did just do a decent chunk of damage on that guy. But we're in Nightmare. Yeah, we're going to need some levels. Uh, yeah, see, we only have an 80% chance on those guys. I'm... <sighs> I need a key. So peace will never make her damage well, good in hell, but she can tank decent, especially with battle. Yeah, and that's all I'm really using her for, right? I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna have to. I think I'm gonna keep using her in health, you know, for a while, like just swapping out the peace for other stuff. Especially once I have the points to max out battle orders and everything. It's uh. And then, obviously, the Grim Ward is all that has all this crowd control, so, like, she should survive in hell just fine. I mean, I showed on my Commander Barb on the channel the Dire Wolves and, like, stuff, you know? And they, they didn't die with, um, battle orders in hell. So, she'll be fine. It's, locked. it's actually... I'm so glad, still, that they, um that they fixed the peace rune word. I remember I was so bummed that when I when I first started playing D2R, because I hadn't played D D2 in a while, I remember I was so bummed that you couldn't get the level 15 Valkyrie to spawn. You know, like it would just like go away right away. I remember I was really bummed about that. I was like, man, that sucks. I was like, that's like the coolest thing about it. Oh shoot. It's like you could have a Valkyrie on a character that's not an Amazon. Like, why doesn't it work? And then they fixed it. And that was something that I that I um, put in the PTRs. You know, like I was I was on the PTRs in the forum thing where they ask you to put feedback, and I was I was on there being like, how come the Valkyrie doesn't work? You know. So and I don't know, I don't know if that was like, if anyone else was really talking about that on there or what, but. 
I also asked for on those PTRs, I asked them to make it so that um, the the charges of the wolves on Crescent Moon um, could summon the wolves, but then allow them and, and but then let them stay so that they would they wouldn't despawn, just so that you could get like CTA on swap and and um, battle orders on them because they otherwise they're hard to keep alive, you know. But they didn't do that one. They didn't. Uh, they never updated that for me. <laughs> I gotta put. I gotta, I gotta. I gotta do this on them to hit them. There we go. Yeah. If I do battle cry on them, then I can actually hit them. Ooh. See. Look. We got the red one. So here, let's go switch now. Uh. Jebediah, can you show the item that gives you Valk? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sorry, man. Nick says peace rune word. Shell, full am, and a body armor used on any character. Those are the runes, but double check. Yeah. Jebediah says gotcha. Okay. And just, just in case you wanted to look at it again right here, here it is. So, yeah. So, see how I got the, the red one now? So, she's got this really ruby red armor, so she just gained extra life on her armor. So my battle orders is going to be even more effective on her now, which is great. Um, and then for us, let's, um, ooh, rattle cage. Let's go rattle cage for a bit because we are going to be getting close to Andariel. So I've got this purple armor, which I'm not the biggest fan of purple, but it does give us crushing blow. I think the only way that Valkyrie dies is if is from the poison from Andario at this point. So let's let's go. There we go. Okay. So that's how I have to deal. That's how I kind of have to deal with some of these guys that aren't affected by the Grim Ward, is I got to use Battle Cry to reduce their damage and defense. That allows me to kind of hit them. What would really be epic, too, would be a pair of Blood Gloves that I craft, or Knockback Gloves, one or the other. And it rolls, it rolls inner sight charges, or multi shot charges, which on non ladder I do have a pair of blood gloves with multi shot on them. Problem is, it's like the multi shot. There's only 27 charges, so that kind of sucks. But but inner sight would be kind of nice. I'm going to grab these arrows. Right, here we go. We got to put this up again. Let's put this up. And so we only have 293 life because <laughs> we haven't put any points into vitality on this character. It's been all dexterity or strength. Level four. Here we go. Only have five poison res, but I think we'll be all right. See how it goes. Six. 
Snot Eater. <laughs> the Mauler. The guy's name was Snot Eater the Mauler. Dude. <laughs> Dude, I love this game. <laughs> I love how, like, demons from hell just have these... Just these amazing names. It's so crazy. Snot Eater. I just am reminded of, like, a kid, like, in school, grade school, who, like, used to eat his boogers. You know? And it made me gag. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, oh, dude, what are you doing? Like, why are you doing that? Okay, so we do need 110 strength for the Bariza. At 41. So... This says 2 strength on it. And this is two decks. Let's see. What else has... Is there anything else with strength that I'm wearing? No. 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 Okay. Well, that's good. So, I guess I'm gonna, um... Prepare for that before I forget, kind of. So, there's 100. And then... A little deck, bit of decks. Okay. So, we're close. I am overburdened. I am overburdened. Let's do this. I need a key. I am overburdened. Oh crap. Okay, so there she is. We can massively slow her. See, look at the Valkyries actually getting hurt now. So is the mercenary. He's gonna go down. I guess I could heal him. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, unique trident. The Razor Teen. So... Hey. Is that better than this? 22 to 34. This one is 12 to 20. Actually, this is worse. And I already have enough slowing effect. So that's not an upgrade for the mercenary. Amazingly. An ethereal repairs durability level 20 maiden pike. One in 5,000 chance drop from Nightmare Andy for... WWS bow, let's go. What's the, um... <laughs> What's WWS, man? I'm sorry that I don't know what you're talking about. What, which wild? Which wild string, right? Which wild string? Yeah, I got it, and then... Yeah. I actually said it before I saw it on the thing, but yeah, okay, gotcha. Yeah, I would have taken that. The two sockets, the deadly strike, the amp damage, the magic arrow, so we could deal with physical immunes. F repairs drill only 18% enhanced damage though. On this level 20 maiden pike. What about the short battle bow? New. No. So yeah. I, like I said, the Valkyrie got killed by Andariel there. Her poison really did her in, but that's okay. Uh, another point. What should I do? So... Just keep going on this. I guess let's just keep trying that. We have 12 points in Defined Potions, so we're at 80% damage taken for Grim Ward. Not sure, but... Not sure, but because I haven't had it in a while... Which Wild Thing also fires level 20 Magic Arrow on normal attack, so I wonder if that shows... 
the upped attack rating on character screen. It does not, Nick. So the the whenever 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 you fire an explosive arrow or magic arrow, you know, or bolt, it doesn't show up on the character screen um, what your attack rating is now from those attacks. I'm pretty sure it doesn't tell it doesn't factor it in. But yeah, that would improve the attack rating though for sure. But it still has effect. Yeah, it does. Padre, the Kelpie Snare is the name. Recalls 75% slow for Nightmare version of the Razor Teen and has massive 50 fire res per life per level. Quite great for battle orders on desert mercenaries. Yeah, dude. Kelpie Snare is sweet. I've used that before with a, um, like a duress on a mercenary. Thought, and it was pretty good. All right, we're going back to peace until we can get another decent Valkyrie to proc. Okay. Um. <sighs> so since I'm in a new place, I also kind of want to make a new game. And just see if I can trade away some stuff here. Let's see. Bring two Babas. I have one. Let me see. Hang on a second. Hang on, yo. Good day. I thought I had one. Did I did get rid of it? I guess I got rid of it. Hmm. I thought I had an Alibaba somewhere. Um... Let me think. Let me think. Um, I thought... What did I do with that? Put that in there and that in there. Trying to try to make a little room here for some stuff. Dude, what did I... I thought I had that on somebody. Let's go back to that hawk lobby. I thought I had an Alibaba on this ladder. Maybe not. Let's see what this guy says. He's in Cura Lost.
I asked him if he's gearing for gold find it all. So I, there's the ethereal crown of thieves and then this uh, dread buckle blood belt with gold find and, and fire res, which is kind of nice for Trav. I don't know if that's what he's doing or not. This dude hasn't said anything though. He probably just wants magic find just for a blizzard sorceress because his character's name is Burr. You know? So. Nick says, if you got the world, the Witch Wild String, you may be able to change the Mercenary. You may not need Blessed Aim with that attack rating from Magic Arrow. Then you can expand Merc to something. I don't know, just theory crafting. Yeah. And Stones, hey, I had a Gut Siphon drop for me earlier and saved it in case you wanted to try it out in your barb. Yeah, Stones, we could try it. What level is the requirement on that again? Hey, look at this um, Wrist Blade of Storms. 3 to 118 Lightning. Level 15, 10% increase attack speed. Hmm. Okay, so that guy didn't say anything, so like, whatever. I don't know if he's... He's not... He's probably like AFK or something. I can't even get to Act 3 to even like try to get his attention either. So I guess... Forget it. Seventy one required. So we could try it. We could try it, but um, at forty one, I have the Bariza, and then I can up it. And I think the required level becomes 63 for the Bariza. So we'll have to try it later, but and I'm not going to be at 71 anytime soon. Because we're, we're only like half that level right now. So create game. Let's see. For trade. I made sure I brought water this time. You know? That 10-hour stream that I did last time, dude, I was pretty wiped out the next day. <laughs> I was like a zombie the next day. Not even joking. It's pretty bad. But we got so much done in that one, though. <laughs> Not clean. Uh, I'm gonna skip the book of skill for now. Yo, what's up? Here we go. Yeah, take it, take it. Sick. Hang on. Yo, dude, somebody wants my dust shroud. Oh, he left. Never mind. That was a bummer. So excited. Stone says, What was the game name? Oh, uh, three open socket. Three, sorry, three O S and then Dusk Shroud. All right, we got the Valkyrie. She's moving fast too. She got some run walk on her boots or something. <laughs> I do kind of wish it would be cool if you could see what she spawned with, you know.
Oh. Are you in, uh, sorry. You're in Dry Hills. Here, I can go back to town, dude. Is that you, by the way? Is that you? Yes, okay. Thirty-three percent pierce, open wounds, slow target. All right. Good luck. Thanks, man. This actually could be nice if we have any trouble with the bosses, too. So even though the Bereza is going to probably be more damage, this thing is a demon crossbow. So it is fast. And it's kind of like the... It's kind of like an upgrade to Rip Hook, almost. If you, um... If you don't upgrade the Rip Hook to a Blade Bow... Like, it does the same things. You know? Like, this one has life steal, open wound, slow target. This one has life steal, open wound, slow target. This one does have 30% base attack speed. And I put a shale in it. Whereas this one has 33 piercing attack. And it is a demon crossbow, so its, it's frame starts at negative 60. Which is just insane. So, yeah, dude, that's cool. Thanks for that. Um, Thanks for that. We're gonna tr we'll try that one out, too, on the bow barb. Like I said, it might it might get some use on some bosses so that we can just slow them down and still deal decent damage and stuff. Although, like I said, I could always upgrade this to a blade bow. But we'll have the strength for this eventually anyway. So, okay. All right, what else did I... Oh, yeah, I wanted to do this. I just wanted to... I wonder if this is kind of worth it or not. Um, so I did find this helmet. I think this one's probably better. But check this out. Two battle command, one natural resistance, one grim ward. So I could make ort soul in that, like this. And then I can have one to all skills on top of that with lightning res, damage reduction, you know. Kind of cool. I could try that out for a bit. I think my attack rating is going to hate me, though. <laughs> yeah. The Visionary mod is so much better. But if I if I wanted, I, that way I could get Battle Command for free. You know? So, that's kind of cool. Not a bad, um... Not a bad one. But this is going to be better. Still. Which is cool that a rare is better than a rune word for once. Yo, Kim, just get Witch Wild String. Nothing beats it. Double Bear Witch Wild is by far the best bow you can get, I think, and it's cheap. Yeah, we're gonna, um, well, I kind of want to see this, this, uh, Bereza through, though, dude. You know? I really want to see this thing through. Because it's perfectly rolled on the damage. And I think if I get to, like, level 90, it'll be pretty strong. And I like that it has 100% pierce. And... I want to put a low rune in it to really give it a chance, you know? Oh, for bosses, you said. Yeah, for bosses. Because of the amp damage, right? So double burr, witch wild string for bosses. Plopper says grief's better, JK. <laughs> uh, you're not wrong, dude. Brand could be sick, says peepo poo. Double Billy is using Brand right now on a Barbarian. Brand is when struck, says Pooh. Yeah, dude. When struck, so... I'd have to run in there. Get hit by stuff. Hey, um, I just kind of thought of something. I can use this now. And there's a lot of lightning damage in this area. So let's see. 
It's like my only fire res. This one's... Yeah, let's switch this for this. There. 27 lightning. I was using this in my assassin before. I just stole it from her. Oh, check out this one. That's nice. And then goblin toe. What? Oh, that's... Oh, so, here's the thing. My upgrade's pretty soon. We're looking for... Wait, I thought I had... Did I not have anything coming up? I thought I had something coming up at 39. 49. Hmm. 49. I guess I was... Wrong. 41 for the Bariza, but I thought there was something else. No. Oh, there's a Hustle Armor. That's what it is. I can wear the Hustle Armor at 39, and we're 38. Okay, so let me... We'll do that there. We're going to keep going with peace for now. Plopper says, pro yeah, probably the hustle armor. Right. Trustworthy fella. Yo, what's up, Michael and chat? All right, hang on, dudes. One second. Got to take a phone call. Hello? Oh. All right, we're back. Wisdom barb base. I have a really nice one on non ladder, dude. It's um, it was three, three um, to natural resistance, and three to increase speed. I had a sick one that I gave away. I have a good one. I actually have a good one on this character, by the way. I have one on this character that's speed and three to, it's two to speed and three to battle orders. Same as mine, I think, says um, Joachim. <laughs> yeah, dude. You're, uh, we, I think we've established that you and I like the same items, basically. <laughs> Yeah, lol. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's funny. Valkyrie again. If she gets that red armor, then I'll switch off the piece. Stone skin on this on this on this guy. Why isn't this working? There we go. Mm-hmm. Darn, somebody joined earlier, and I thought they were going to buy my Dusk Shroud, but they didn't. Our attack rate is 81%. It's a little, 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 little rough here. She is again. Stony Tomb. You trading in Nightmare? That's going to be a while, homie. Yeah, I know. I just put it up there. You know, we'll see. Because I, cause I'm playing anyway. So it's like I might as well make a, game, a trade game to see if I can trade something. Come into the Grim Ward, everyone. Here we go. Super healing, super healing, super healing. Trust really, fella. So I am building my first assassin for a while now. Nothing crazy. Just tried out various skills during playthrough. Ended up in hell with Dragon Claw. 
and t dragon tail. Elemental charges. I collected full Natalia's, and I think it's a good set, right? Ever use the full set on, on one? Uh, I have. I have not actually never ran full Natalia's set, but um, I think it is really good, dude. I think it's one of the better sets. Like full Trangs sucks, you know. But full Natalia's is pretty cool. Got the blue armor. She's attacking pretty slow with that. Voltrang's Poison Nova isn't so bad, says Cashews, but the FCR nerf you take as a ghoul is painful. Yeah, did you ever see my <laughs> did you ever see my video about it too, where I was like, it feels clunky? You know, like when you try to like kick like when you try to like kick um like pots and barrels and stuff even. It just like like it feels like there's like a delay on it and stuff. It's just really not great. Transfer the thoughts. Thoughts all cool beans. Just need a few more levels to put it on. Just got 67 and now wearing 40 in one Jade Talon and the other one you have. Fire Talon? Yeah, the Fire Lizard Talon. Ploppers, I made a meme full train uh, necro with Tele Amulet called Count Chocula. <laughs> Joaquin B, the, the witch form makes it worse. Off meta pot kicking says trustworthy fella. Well, dude, it's like I remember just being like, it was kind of annoying. Like I, I just felt like you try to click on something and then like it wouldn't always work. And it, I don't know, it was kind of weird. I didn't, I really, really don't like full train set at all. Yeah, it sucks being a ghoul is badass, but it's super clunky. Yeah, I was super excited to try it out, too, because I was like, oh, sweet, like, you get to transform. And it was kind of underwhelming. I kind of, like, I kind of wish that, like, the vampire form had a little bit more to it, honestly. And I kind of wish it was different from just, like, the enemies that you face. You know, like, you kind of just, you just turn into one of those enemies, really. That you can fight, like, in the durance of hate, you know? Whoa! What? Okay. I do have very low health. Did my battle orders run out? Uh, the form should boost your melee da damage by a thousand percent or something. So all those daggers and size are viable. Maybe like a zeal skill added with the form. Yeah, yo, Kim, it would be cool if like you were actually like a, you know, like a pretty vicious vampire of sorts. David, it basically makes you a worse fire sorceress. Yeah, I know. I've you actually can be a better fire necromancer without the set, without the full set. Like if you just, because even though it has fire mastery for the full set, it's not worth it. It's better to go um two or like two or three like three piece trangs to get firewall, and then just boost it with lower res. Just boost it with lower res. 
and um, like a phoenix shield and flickering flame and all that stuff, you know? I, I mean, I have it on the channel. I have a fire necromancer, and he's actually pretty awesome. And it's too bad that, you know, it, I mean, it's not too bad. I shouldn't say that. It's kind of cool that that you can make a better fire necromancer without the full set. Like, that's kind of cool that you can, you can piece that together in the game. Um, but it is, it's kind of dumb to me that, that the fire mastery that you gain from the full set really doesn't benefit you that much. One funny thing is to put hex fire, two piece trangs on your fire act three merc, and he gets like 18 fireball. It's pretty nasty. I think it makes his fireball go up to like level 50. Wait, really? Yo, Akeem, you just blew my mind with that. You can, I didn't even, I never thought to put two-piece trangs on the Act 3 Fire Mercenary. Dude. That's how you've been running Act 3 Mercs since D2R really, oh my gosh, dude. What? Two-piece trangs? In a Hexfire Shamsher on Act 3 Fire Mercenary, you guys. Oh my gosh. The possibilities. Dude. You could be a necromancer, self wield infinity with lower resistance, and a level 50 fireball mercenary. Do it now, says Trustworthy Fella. Joachim says, wait, am I the only one? Joachim, I think you might be the only person in the world that's done that. <laughs> and that sounds awesome, dude. And then you can put a phoenix shield on him and make him even more freaking amazing, right? Kyle says, I need to see this in action. Joachim says, you guys didn't know LMAO. Oh yeah, Phoenix could be crazy. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, Joachim, when I, may, when I show off that on the channel eventually, I will mo most certainly give you credit or I will find this in the live stream and, and put it in the video as a clip so we can see in real so everyone can see in real time how mind blowing this is to me. Trustworthy fellow says props to Joachim. I can try that now actually. I just need to get hexfire. <laughs> I'm sure you can get a hexfire for like <laughs> a flawless ruby, you know? <laughs> Nobody gives a shit about that. Um Ah oh, shoot. Where did I leave off? Oh gosh, we're so far away. You are so far away. Which way did I go? Crap. The hard thing about Hexfire is finding someone who kept one. Well, here's the thing, dude. If you look at my off meta builds, man, I have Hexfire on my Act 3 Mercenary. You know, my, my uh, hybrid druid is one of my favorite builds, and it's got... He's got Max Fury, Max Feral Rage, Max Grizzly, Max Direwolf. And... And then he's mercenary. The mercenary has, like, level 40-something enchant. Because he's wearing... Yeah, he's got... He's wearing, um... Flickering Flame, Eth Spirit, Hexfire... And then the armor, I think he was wearing Arcane's Valor <laughs> or something like that with re like reduced requirements.
be right there. Crap, dude. This guy this guy wants to trade with me, and I'm, like, running to find my body. I don't have it. Hang on. I guess I'll go do this now. Eth Arcanes is so nice. I found I, I found one that, um... I found one where the ED rolled so that it had a perfect... It had, had a, um... Exact three thirteen hundred defense. And then I and then I had a really nice jewel that was like reduced. Re I, I I had a really nice jewel that was reduced requirements with thirty lightning res, and it had attack rating and strength. And I put that in the F in the in the um it wasn't F sorry I put that in the arcanes. Oh, can I see? Yeah, sure. How much? Now. Mal, okay. All right, dudes, we got our Malrune. Excellent. Excellent. All right. I like that. I like that a lot, bro. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We are profiting. So Joachim says I love the rounded numbers. That's just sexy. Yeah, dude, I know, man. The th it's exactly 1,300 defense. Want dis? Hmm? Hang on. Hang on, uh, Joachim. I'm trying to get my body back. Hold on. Before I forget. Michael, can you remind me what exactly the stats were for that mage plate high defense base you traded the other day? Yeah, it was 15% um, enhanced defense. And the defense rolled uh, 301 on it. Which I think might be the highest you can get on a mage plate. And then it also had maximum durability increased by like 12 or 14 percent. And I so I traded that for a Burr Rune. And it was non-ladder. Oh, Jebediah says 467 is perfect d defense for Dusk as well. If it's rolled... Oh yeah, that's right, Joachim. If it rolls 15 percent, it's always maxed out. Right, yeah, exactly. Okay, I think I kind of knew that. Hey, before you go, Hawk... Yeah. You need torch? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Thanks. <laughs> nice, dude. And we're cooking. Sweet, Joachim. What's that? Says... Oh.
dudes, we have a torch now. This this Amazon that I traded the dust crowd for the Mal just gave me a torch for free. Dude, barb torches really nobody can trade them. Here I got a gift for you, says Zon. Dude, <laughs> are we getting the hexfire now too? Wait, what the shit? What? <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> this guy just dropped Enigma on the ground? What the f What is happening? Giving you a barb Enigma. What? <laughs> I know, but it's still an enigma, dude. Like, are you sure? Are you sure? I mean, like, what a cool guy. And a token? Reduce that. Wow. Nice, man. Nice, dude. And there's just a Mara's on the ground. Which I don't actually need. But he doesn't... Is he, like, watching the stream? Just, like... No, just got heaps of spare crap. Nice, dude. Alright, so he's giving us this... This anti-perfect Mara's, but I don't care. I'm taking it. I'm taking it! We got a token, in case we need to... Because we're gonna need to respec, too. Which, I mean, I have all my respecs, but... Dude, what the fudge? Does anyone in chat need an Enigma? <laughs> Dude, what the hell? He just... This guy... I made a game for a Dusk Shroud. I, I traded him my Dusk Shroud for a Mal. And he was like, oh, yeah, that's fine. I'm like, okay. And then he just drops an Enigma, an anti-perfect Mara's on a token on the ground. Mind blowing, dude. Mind blowing, dude. Um, he has a spare assassin torch if you need one, Joachim. I have an assassin who has a pretty bad torch. It's 13.10. And this one's 14.14. Nice. Upgrade. Upgrade. <laughs> so this is a 14.14 assassin torch. He just... <laughs> he just gave me that too. Okay, what is happening right now? Why is this guy just, like, doing this? I don't get it. What? Want to see something sad? Be prepared to cry, Mike. Oh my... Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my... Oh no. <laughs> three Phoenix Strike, three Venom, three Lightning Sentry. Imbue quest? <laughs> it's superior. All right. 
Wow. Can't do anything with it. Although, an offhand and kick. Wait, what did that guy put in there? Ghoul picket? Or what did you put in Yogi? Man of Steel Replenished Quantity, Ethereal, 1 to Amazon. One, yeah. Not bad for 48. It will break from weapon blocking. Oh. Oh, bummer. I see. Gonna reroll with pea skulls. <laughs> okay, dude, what? That was like the most... That was by far the most profitable <laughs> trade ever. I gave away a three socket dust shroud and we got a barb torch, an assassin torch, a token, Amara's, and an enigma and a kraken shell. Which, you know, I think the kraken shell looks dope. So, although the strength requirement's really high. Okay. Sally, not why. It's a javelin. Yeah, no. Yeah, no throwing items get socket. Honest, what, um, Zaug is, uh, yeah, so Zaug, LZL is Joachim. Honestly, I use it till it broke. Still GG after a week or so. That's wild. I use Kraken on my Fire Trapper. Looks epic. Yeah, dude. Wow. So I can't believe that. So, that's my favorite armor in the game. Kraken Shell looks so dope on Amazon. <laughs> you guys need runes? What is happening? Why is it, this guy, is this guy bored? Like, is he just like, I'm done playing forever and I'm going to give away everything? Uh. I need a cham, <laughs> says Joachim. That's my favorite. Okay, uh, they, they turn completely gold for some reason. For my druid's plague dagger. <laughs> so this Zahn just gave Joachim a cham for free. This is kind of nuts. I said, well, Zahn, you win the internet today. <laughs> Media X has joined. Someone traded me for 10 of them and can't work out what to do with them. Circlet of Negation. Magic damage reduced by 5. So. Make a lot of Plague Swords for Barb Merc. Yeah, or Chama Helmet. You need more? Need one for pride, actually. <laughs> okay. Oh, that dude just grabbed it. <laughs> like what? Dude, this guy is just dropping shit and everyone's grabbing it. I can't even grab it. <laughs> the 
impossible. Jam. Oh. Oh, there we go. Was that you? Who was? Got to organ. I, dude, my stash is crazy, man. It's like, it's. I can't even. There's too many. I have too many things in here now. So, like, I don't have any room to like even accept anything else. Although I could just dump things. I have four mules. One is called Jaw. One is called Bear. One is called High Rune, and one is called Gear. Says this dude's on. Oh man, because mine aren't saga. Made remembering who had what easier. Yeah, that's smart. <laughs> I just named mine ASKJD and FAJSD. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ask Jaden F all. <laughs> so that was that was nuts, guys. I like I cannot believe that. What? Okay, have fun, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Wow. Wow. Dude. <laughs> okay, so we just. He said he had like ten cham runes that he didn't know what to do with, and I was like. Really? That guy. What a boss. I know. What? Yeah, I know. I don't have any... I don't have any room. I don't have any room. You know. Because I need to keep this... Uh, so, he, uh, in, in case anyone is just... I was just about to trade for a champ on Tradery. Well, there you go. You know? You don't need to now. He saved me like an hour, <laughs> maybe more. Yeah. <laughs> um, so like, <sighs> okay, I'm still like kind of floored by that how how that went. I've never had that happen before. I don't think he cares, man. Like, so, but it's, <laughs> but I, oh, I could have given him, he probably has the gear, but I could have given him this. I just realized. I could whisper him and just be like, do you want these? Let's see. Uh, Jav gloves with I'm asking that guy if he wants those. I don't. He probably has 320s or like really nice rare gloves, you know, for a Javazon. But I was just thinking if he didn't for some re weird reason. Who? Hmm. Did I message the wrong guy? This is Joachim. Oh. <laughs> I messaged the wrong guy. Crap, then, <laughs> which is, oh, so is it this guy then? This guy, I saw this guy come in the game. It must have been Tricky Zerg. 
Okay. Let's see. I think it was that guy. Let me see if I can find out. Uh... When did he join? Zan joined our world. I don't know. I can't figure it out. He didn't respond or anything, so I don't know. Well, that was crazy. Zalg... Zalg says, okay, th I thought Joachim that gave the Enigma. Is the guy giving all this stuff here in chat? He's not, I don't think. At least he's not making it known, because we asked him. Joachim asked him, he's like, are you watching a stream? And he didn't say anything. What, dude? Or he really happened to show up? Maybe he doesn't want attention. Yeah, maybe. He's got to be watching. No one just gives a random guy this much stuff. VPR says, LOL. Some do. No, man. I, like... Maybe he felt bad for me because he saw that I'm using a bow and I'm a barbarian. And he was like, this guy needs a torch. He needs a, an enigma. <laughs> Joachim says, last ladder, you gave 30 burrs away. <laughs> VPR says, what? <laughs> He's like, wait a second. So you mean those people that make games that say free burr, please? They actually get them? This bow barb is going to need all the help he can get. <laughs> Better to give him Enigma and Torch. I know, right? He probably just felt bad. He's like, look at this poor guy trying to play D2 with a bow, and he's a barbarian. What is he doing? You know? He was probably like... It's even more badass to do it anonymously, though, not even taking credit. Yeah, you just walk in, just drop that stuff. Well, it sure made for some interesting... interactions here. I mean, we were just like, what are you doing? You know? It's got... Well, Joachim did give... Remember, Joachim, you gave me two burr runes a while back, and then... I got him back, though, because I, I traded after I used him for my assassin, but... <laughs> Yo, Akeem says, look at this D4 casual coming over to D2R with his weird bar build. Better sort him out before he gets hurt. <laughs> you still want to see Hustle on the handsome barb? Yeah, so I've got it. We've got it, but I, it's level 51 required on this great bow. We could make another one, though, if we find a three-socket uh, exceptional bow instead of elite. David says, people used to give stuff away back in LOD. That's how I got all my gear back then, haha. -ha. Okay, says VPR. Honestly, if I had ran into you a couple days earlier, I would have given you like 10 to 15 burrs easily. I just made a nasty trade profit over 200? Two, what, 200? What did you trade that was worth 200 burrs, Joachim? Was it like a 45 life one to javelin or something like? Two hundred bur runes, dude. That has. To, I mean, Good evening. for a necro. Oh my gosh, really? Was it poison and bone necro? Oh. oh, no, you said it was a, a 2020 amulet with strength, life, mana, all res. Wow. Perfect F Tomb Reaver. Is that what you just found, Zaug? Okay, well, I need to leave this game now because I don't have that dust route anymore. Whoa, man. Hang on.
I'm making a mule again, just so I can make some room really quick. No, I was being sarcastic with Tomb Reaver because the perfect is over one in a billion chance, literally. Oh, gosh. I see what you're saying. Um... Okay. Does anyone need a base for Plague Dagger? 14 ED Fanged Knife. Okay, so we've got that. I can't believe you gave me that. Okay, so then we have <laughs> Maras and all this other stuff. Kind of nuts. I might be able to trade that. So there, made a little bit of room now. Okay. Uh, yes, absolutely do. Oh, other. Here, I can. Minus seven. Okay. Hey, uh, Joachim, you can have this then. Sometimes playing dumb can get you free stuff or actually being dumb. <laughs> like me, says David. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bobarb, password one. In Nightmare, Joachim. Wait, did I put it? I put it in this here, didn't I? Oh, shoot. Did I forget to put it in the dang... Crap. Hang on. I didn't actually put it in my shared stash. I put it in his inventory. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Okay. Okay, so here's the here's the fang knife. This is pretty pretty decent. It's a uh, 14 ED with two attack rating. That's a beauty. Way better than mine. Nice. Want this? Uh, Leviathan. I don't think I really need it. N nah. Grizz. I actually found. I have one. <laughs> Trex? What about Trex? Mm, the poison res? Maybe. I don't know. Could trade him. If, I, if, if you don't feel like it, I could try to. Crescent Moon amulet. Mana lifesteal. That can come in handy sometimes. I don't know if... It's actually... This is actually not bad on, like, a... a Ice Maiden, you know? For your sin. Oof! That's nice. Alright. Let me get rid of... Maybe that. <laughs> I 
All right. Fifteen increased attack speed, fifty percent damage to undead, with thirty to attack rating. Um. Looks cool, right? I don't know how useful it is. I'd keep for, so I would keep that for special, like a special use. Like I, um. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, like an undead only killer. Because there's certain items that have massive damage to undead and stuff. And then there's like the paladin. Uh, one socket tomb reaver, yeah. What is this? Five socket eth thresher. Verdungos. You found Verdungos again? Rotting fissure. We don't really need any of that stuff. Chain lightning. All res. Yeah. Verdungos. This Verdungos, I, we could, this will go, this will probably trade the Verdungos. I don't think I would use this either on my Assassin even, because I have everything else. That Thresher is kind of nice, but I'm, I don't think I'm going to have to, like, a way to use it. And then, uh, what's this? Hmm, it's alright. Yeah, I'm not going to take that one either. But yeah, this I, we could trade that the Verdungos for sure. Bone break, a twelve bone break. Hmm, that would be. Trust me, fella. Gonna hang back for the rest of the off stream, abusing you as podcast to sleep and dream of crazy builds. Hot. Later, peeps. All right, see you, man. Greg says, what's up, man? Hey, Greg, we just... I don't know if you saw it, but... Uh, I made a game earlier where I was trading a 3 open socket Dusk Shroud, and I was going to ask for a Mal, you know? So I so I made the trade. Somebody joined, like a Javazon joined, and traded me... You know, I got a Mal out of it. I gave this person the Dusk Shroud, and then they were like, do you guys, do you need anything else? Like, do you need a barb torch? And I was like, I mean, yeah, but, you know, I don't, like, whatever. And he goes, well, here, just drops the barb torch on the ground. So I was like, oh, it's a 1511 barb torch. So I know it's nothing crazy, right? Because barb torches are some of the cheapest, but he just gave it to me. And then he was like, here, uh, just take this Maros. It was anti-perfect, so whatever. So he drops that on the ground. And then he's like, do you need an assassin torch? And I was like, I have one on my assassin, but it's not really good. It's like a, it's like an almost anti-perfect one. And so then he gives me this one, which is a little bit of an upgrade from the one that I have. Okay. And then, and then he gave me a cham rune and then he gave Joachim a cham rune. And then he gives me an enigma, which is made in a kraken shell, which is not a desirable base. So I can kind of see why maybe he decided to just junk it at the same time. Because he probably has better now. But the fact that he just dropped me like Mara's two torches, Enigma, a Cham, and a Mal for my... And all of that for my three open socket Dust Shroud. It was like the most ridiculous like trade ever. <laughs> No, I sure didn't, and the dude sounds nice. Couldn't ask for a better evening on D2, I guess. Yeah, man, he completely just hooked us up. And uh, Joachim was in the game with me, and he was like, we were both, it was kind of funny, because, like, if you go back, like, 20 minutes, you can just see we're like, what is happening? Like, in the chat part of the game, you know? I'm like, dude, are you sure? Like, what are you doing? And he was just like, ah, it's fine. Like, you know. So that was really cool. Um, so we have another, <laughs> so this is our second Enigma now. <laughs> Um, and I don't know, I might just, like, trade it, you know? I might just be, like, Enigma Kraken Shell for, like, a, I don't know, like a Sir or something, or like a, ch or less. Maybe I'll just, like, like, three-ist for Enigma, like, Enigma for your three-ist or something, you know? 
and just see if and someone's just like, dude, and you'd be like, sorry about the strength requirement, but there you go. You know? Paladin says, Charcy, that enigma, that is gross. <laughs> the strength required on it, I know. Um, yeah, but what if you were going max strength werewolf barbarian, you know? And you wanted the run walk. Did you ever think about that, Paladin? Hmm? Kraken show? What the hell, man? <laughs> I didn't make this, Paladin. This was donated by a random person who did not... They didn't say if they were watching the stream or not. They just they just dropped in, gave some stuff. And then Joachim is, make, is dumping stuff off, too, right now. He just gave me um, a crescent moon and then a bone break and a Verdungo's. And uh, I think the bone break I can actually trade off though, but and we, unless we use it on this character, which might not be a bad idea. I know I heard. That's why he gave it away. Says Zalg, it was a failed enigma. Yeah, I know, but here, but you know, we can, we could trade. I could trade it though. I could say, enigma for, three ist, and then. Someone's gonna laugh though when they when they look at it because they'll come in the game and they're gonna be like, oh man, this is an awesome deal, and they're gonna go, Ugh. I'm gonna be like, yep, there you go. You still want it? <laughs> it's gonna be fun, <laughs> you know. It's not. At least I'm not someone who's like. It's, at least it's not like those those people who make Enigma in an ethereal armor and then they and then they drop it on the ground for someone and then the person's like cool thanks wait what is this he must have accidentally socketed Jothbur into it <laughs> yeah I don't know about that what are all the yo Kim what are you dropping on here should I should I look at these or no 11 poison res 11 lightning 11, 10 lightning Do as you wish. Okay, you don't. Yeah, I guess you don't need them, huh? I, yeah, those are cool. Maybe we trade them. Maybe I need them. All right. You made a shadow plate enigma for the lulls. It has fourteen hundred defense. Atlantis, put it on max strength werewolf barb. Then that's what you should do all your points into strength and enough to and enough dexterity for the gear David says who's going to have the balls to make enigma in an ethereal sacred armor <laughs> and then just put it on the mercenary Joachim says legit you can use it on uh, like a vengeance paladin the enigma go max strength yeah so there you go paladin Vengeance Paladin, um, Wolf Barb, Max Strength, you could use an Enigma like this. So, alright. Okay, well, sweet. Alright, I... Okay, so here's the thing, I gotta get going actually, guys. This is like, this has been a pretty wild stream. But I actually have to get going. I can't do 10 hours again like I did last time. <laughs> um, Atlanta says, Bro, I will then. I could respec. And he says, My barb is just a pointless bow barb at the moment. Yeah, dude, do that. Put the put that um put that uh sacred armor enigma. Kyle says, No, don't go. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I gotta I do have to go though, actually. GG says Atlantis. All right, have a good one says Paladin. Yeah, we can stream. Again. I can stream again though, like maybe tomorrow or something. Always great catching catching the streams says uh, Kyle. Yeah, dude, this was um, this was really freaking amazing. This was so funny, dude. We've got. But so, we're set up and we're we're set up for like. A pretty good uh, bow barb here too. We have a lot of once I once I grab some stuff off my assassin too. We're gonna have enough max damage, I think, charms. 
and everything. We'll have the Raven Frost. Um, and I and I'm like almost there now to make Beast, since I just traded for that Malrune. <laughs> Paladin says, being from Australia, it's Monday right now. It's Monday for you. Yeah, so for me, it's Sunday. It, it, it'll be Monday in about an hour. Kyle says, the trades be wild. Alanis says, tax day. Joachim says, work. <laughs> Zaug says, I'm interested. How much the hustle armor will improve your build? Next level. Yeah, I know. We didn't get to, we didn't get to 39 because we got stuck sitting there gawking at all of the stuff the dude was giving us. Devo says, yo, Devo, if you just joined Devo, I'm actually just about to leave, buddy. <laughs> Sorry. Speaking to us from the future, what what ends up happening, bro? Wait, what? I, did I miss something? Oh, well, oh, that's right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Paladin is from the, uh, is from the future right now because he's, he's in Monday already. I'm not giving any away any winning lottery tickets. Tickets, Paladin. How about just the sports al almanac? All right, just the sports almanac. If you've got one of those, you could send that back. Atlanta says, "Damn." <laughs> All right. Okay, dudes. Let me uh, let me see here. All right, Bow Barbarian level 39 tomorrow. Unless unless something comes up and I can't do a stream. Devo says, word for sure, peace out. Not yeah, Devo, if you go back and watch this one though, dude, just when I when I make the game for a three open socket dusk shroud, make sure you watch that one, okay? That is it gets bonkers, alright? If you just joined. David says, stream is ending, and I just fourth weighed the arcane sanctuary. Shake my head. <laughs> Yo, Akeem, all right, peace out, Mike. Have a good one. See you next stream. Yeah. So, yeah, if you're just joining now and you feel like backtracking, um, when I make the game for to make a trade f for my three open socket dust shroud, that's worth watching. Let me just let me just tell you right now, that's worth watching. Something nuts happens in that. So, all right, guys, I got to go.